Hey, what's up, people? And thank you for again for tuning in to my little homegrown channel here. Today is all about my Tayo land shark. So, first off, I got this for nostalgic reasons. Um, back in the day, back in the 90s, some of you might not know about this, but there used to be a thing by Tyco called the Fast Track. Kind of similar to this, but way bigger. And the body was a little bit flatter too, but it was like the color of this yawn sticker right here. Like greenish, yellowish, neon green. And yeah, it was like, oh my god, I love that thing. Chrome rims. Oh, it was the best. Had treads like this or tracks, whatever, but has suspension. It was made by Tyco. Well, I was in Kmart here in Puerto Rico and I saw this guy. And I had to have him. I just thought about my Tyco fast tracks and I mean, all the memories just start coming back and how much fun I have with that thing. I had it up until I was in high school, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I had it up until high school, so I think it made its debut in 92, and I graduated high school in, was that, 98? So, yeah, so, yeah. I had it up until high school, and I think I wind up selling it, honestly. Like, somebody just had to have it, and I, if I had known what I know now, I would have it, but... Probably would have to sell anyway, because I, like I said, I moved from the States to Puerto Rico, but it did come like this. Um, all the little, little custom graphics you see right there, that's, I stuck a bomb the body. The body was like an orange, reddish color, um, same color as this little vent grill right here. It didn't come vented like that either. It was a black plastic holding right there. I had to cut it out because apparently it cuts off after it gets too hot. And I guess it runs hot or whatever, the electronics. So I tried to vent it. And same here. This is the first, my first attempt at venting. Um, I didn't want to just leave it as a hole. So I put a little metal, small pipe in right there. You know, that as a you know, heat exhaust pipe. And when it, when it stops from running hot, you can actually see the heat like coming out of that thing. It's, ridiculous as bananas and this is my second attempt so next I'm gonna put make the cold air intake right there in the front I'm just gonna probably vent it right there put a little pipe in right there have it flush like the back and so the air can come through there and cool up the electronics so maybe it won't cut off so quickly and I can have more run time with this thing because I can only have like 10 minutes I think like I topped out like 12 minutes and then it stopped and I had this thing on the beach. I had it everywhere. Like it's not a climber. It's got two motors though. See those motors right there? Two motors. And I'm guessing these are the gears right here for motor. But yeah. So here's the on and off switch. I don't have a battery in it right now. The battery compartment. See? Tayo. And these are the sensors, I guess the speed sensors, 2.4 gigahertz. I mean, when it goes, it goes and it goes good. Um, I took it apart, silicone, the electronics, and because um, I knew I was going to take it on the beach and, you know, might get wet. So I pretty much just took all the precautions I could with this thing. Cause like I said, I really like it. Um, they come with the black rims he thought painted those black because the red on her just looks super cheesy and I'm not into cheesy looking RCs even if I did buy it from Kmart but so yeah sticker bombed it and everything you know got it looking nice and everything because I really like it like I said it's got back suspension by the way but I'm trying to figure out how to keep it from running hot and I think cooler air would be better I'm pretty sure if I had this thing back in, like back on the east coast in the states where I live in the midwest too where it gets cooler it probably wouldn't run hot so much but you know I got on a hot pavement out here in Puerto Rico on the island and you know it 
for the hot sand goes for and it and it, it dies pretty quick so I'm gonna see if I can like I said modify it well at least you know for more air in there, back there but that's the only modifications I'm gonna do I'm not gonna mess with the treads or the and the motors because I have no idea what I'm doing with that and even if I did I wouldn't mess with it because it's it goes pretty good so far um yeah I'm gonna cut out this little space right here I'm gonna keep the bumper because this thing is fast it, it's, it's pretty fast and I have a run I'll, I'll show you guys I have a vid on a run like how it's running and everything so you can see how it goes and I could probably put a timer on to see how, how far it goes before it stops but I'm gonna cut this out a little bit throw some screen like some little mesh right there and then I'm gonna like I said put the intake I'm, it's probably gonna be right there smack that right there sit up here I'm gonna put it right there uh, I gotta see I gotta take the body off again and see where it's gonna go so it can channel correctly and I got a little some more aluminum like it's, it's a little bit smaller skinnier than this but it should work pretty good and we'll see I'll either do two or just the one, I think it's just the one to do to suffice, but yeah. Yeah, it's a land shark. It's like I said, it's pretty it's pretty cool. Here's the um, controller. Um just like any other tank type vehicle. What uh, look that's it stops blinking when it links with the um with the car. So once you had a battery in you turn on the car. It stopped blinking and it stays red. Oh, there's the trim right there. And yeah, so um, battery pack, charger, 7.4 volts. I want to see if I can get a stronger battery too. Same size, but stronger. So yeah, so let me show you guys what I was talking about as far as it running hot. Hold on. Okay, so let's see. These are the instructions. Tile Land Shark says six plus. That's I almost didn't get it because it says six plus, and I'm thinking uh, this is definitely just some for kids. But like I said, it was mostly a nostalgia thing. We just like got it, and I'm not. So I'm I'm kind of impressed by it. Okay, there's the safety circuit. During use, the internal power in an electric circuit can get quite high. For example, during a 360 spin, which I have not done with this thing yet. In such a case, a safety circuit will shut down the vehicle for approximately 10 to 15 seconds. During this period, the car will not respond to signals from the transmitter. This is not a defect, but a safety measure to protect the electronic circuits. After this period, the car will resume normal operation. Well... Uh, spoiler alert for this little guy. I did that and I waited over the 15 minute, the 15 second period. I even let it go on for five minutes and the car would not respond. So, and the battery pack was not fully drained either. I put the battery pack on a charger and it would charge within like five minutes or less. So, it's definitely not that. Um, so I'm not sure. So like I said, I think what I'm gonna to try to do is vent it because like I said, I've siliconed it and to, for um for moisture. So I'm gonna to try to vent and see if that helps it vent it right here. So yeah, let's let's stay tuned for that. I have an update on this guy, and like I said, I have a run vid on it too. Before I even do that, I'll do a little vid on it, like you know, running and everything. So you see how, like I said, it's pretty fast and. I don't regret getting it. The only, like I said, the regret is that it cuts off really fast, man. But other than that, it's pretty dope. And I, I'm loving the sticker bomb theme I did on it. Like, I had no idea it would look this good. Um, my first sticker bomb attempt was on Chill Pill, and I didn't cover, do as much coverage as I did with this. I think this turned out actually better. And um, big secret, I don't just leave my stickers like exposed I don't know how anybody else does it but I clear coat my stickers uh, you get longevity out of it um, and this is for stickers that are not like vinyl these aren't vinyl stickers these are regular stickers 
So um, you get more out of it when you clear coat them. I got this big sticker book from Walgreens in the States. I'm not sure if they have it here in Puerto Rico, but I'm almost doing. But yeah, see, I use a lot of them on certain things, but and I still have like different stickers that are inside here too, but yeah, um, thousand plus stickers. And that's what you get, and that's what it looks like when you do it right. And I want something that you know, something for the guys, the squirrels, you know, the girls could look like, oh, that's pretty cute, you know. So, you know, because you never know, like, I might get tired of it, might want to sell it, and, and a girl might say, hey, some or a woman, you know, somebody that's into the RC, you know, culture might say, hey, that's pretty cool, I want that, you know, and it'll look good where there's, you know, on the shelf of a guy's, you know, living room or bedroom or girl's bedroom, living room, whatever, you know, it, it's, I've, I've made it like this to be totally universal. So it can be appreciated by everyone. But yeah, there it is. So I'm gonna get this going, get this little project going, vent with the vent with the little intake, cold air intake and probably make a little filter on it too so the filter be in the inside on the body you won't, you won't be able to see that unless I make this this part the black part clear which huh, might just do that who knows but we'll see we'll see but um I'm not trying to do too much to this thing because pretty soon somebody be contacting me saying I can't operate anymore because I've done too many modifications but I'm not doing anything electrical this is all cosmetic but uh, yeah, and all performance too. It's all cosmetic and performance wise. But let's see. We will see. So yeah, I'll get with this right now. But yeah, that's the Tayo Land Shark. Uh, never heard this brand until got to the state. I mean, that got to Puerto Rico. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. So, um, like I said, guys, stay tuned. Um, if you want to subscribe, feel free because I'm always going to have content up here. <laughs> so, but yeah, um, that's my Tayo Lens Shark. And if you guys got any suggestions or anything, like I said, I'm, like I always say in my other bits, I'm open to criticism, you know, or no opinions or whatever. You want to know that, hey, shoot it out there, get it out there, let me know what's going on, how you feel about it. Uh, what do you think I should do, you know, if you think I should just trash it or, you know, <laughs> whatever. Um, but, yeah. Alrighty, guys. Again, thanks for tuning in. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.